Uh, why, hello everyone. Uh, I am here at 11 uh, p.m. EST time uh, with a cup of coffee in hand, and uh, I'm very exhausted. <laughs> uh, I'm joined today by uh, Penrost776. Hi. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> hello. I'm here at 4 a.m. my time with no coffee and even more exhausted. Oh, no. <laughs> Time zone. Not that it's competition or anything. Oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, we're here. Uh, we're very excited to uh, react to the CYL uh, Fate channel. Uh, and yeah, I guess we might as well get into it. Hello, Faye. Hello, promising start. We're on the beach again. I like your sunnies. Yep. Summoners. And two drinks now. One's empty one. by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah. What could it be? Oh, that's right. As the mysterious calling card from the last video said, I, Faye, have made my grand return to introduce the latest Choose Your Legends heroes to Yep, it's the letter from last time. The smash letter. <laughs> Let's go! Let's, get started. Let's go! Faye Channel. Okay. Oh, we're getting straight into it. Heroes who climbed through the ranks to reach the number one and two spots in the men's and women's divisions of the Choose Your There they are. Oh my. Event. They clearly need no introduction, but I'll give them one anyway. Okay, starting a bylet. All right. Oh no, Sopha's regalia. <laughs> oh ho ho! Whoa. Oh, her oh, art the is awesome. Kind of, yeah, we've kind of gone for a slightly messier hairstyle as well, which is interesting. Oh wow, legs. Yeah, I like the going back to basing it on characters related to the Choose Your Legends winner. Oh, that's a weapon, all right. No follow up. Time's pulse. Huh. Plus five to all stats and one cooldown after combat. Divine pulse. Oh goodness. Also, if she doesn't take her foe out then and there, she'll take Ooh. less damage from their next attack and even deal increased damage. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's almost um legendary Corin's. Oh, Corin. Oh, yeah, I think it's Claude, no? Uh, Cla Claude's a bit different. Claude's got a huge amount of stuff going on. I guess. But Oh, oh God. and that's a funky B slot right there. Nothing could honor me more. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh! He looks it's Seleph, dressed as Sigurd. Oh, wow! Mage Seleph stands are <laughs> sobbing right now. <laughs> well, I mean, he looks amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, S Sigurd's outfit is great, and he's wearing it. He's got the cravat and everything. That's long as hell. Oh, he's a cav unit. The further you go, the more damage you deal. That's... New A slot? Yo, okay, that's rad. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Oh my god. It, up to 10 attack speed from that. Okay, so legendary Sigurd. <laughs> Oh, he gets no follow up for free. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right. Let's go. So many of them are dear to me now. Oh, that's Tiki, all right. Oh, I'm she's so cute. Excited because now I get to introduce the winner of the women's division. It's Tiki. Oh, they're the using the the young Tiki game. outfit, right? Ah, oh, makes sense. I was gonna say, whose clothes are those? It's like, yeah. yeah, they're Tiki's. I bet they'd all be pretty shocked huh. to see her older self wearing this classic outfit now. Oh, yeah, because it's Awakening Tiki. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that move, but... Okay. <laughs> Remote. Not only does the skill make her special easier to trigger... Three spaces. She oh, she's a Guaranteed follow-up attack. Then she's granted special cooldown count minus Oh, she gets special cooldown at the start of combat. That's a gorgeous animation. She can trigger special in no time flat. The attack resistance... Oh, and she discharges her foe special before combat as well. Huh. Oh, that's cool. She's granted stat boosts. And if she meets another set of conditions related to her special... She'll deal more damage oh, during combat. Oh, baby, that's a Plus, new power crept ace slot, all right. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> because her weapon makes oh, her wow. special so easy to trigger, she should have no trouble keeping her HP up. The new divinity skill lowers her foe stats. So that's... Her HP is greater than or Ooh. Equal to 25%, and it prevents them from making okay. a follow-up attack. If her HP is greater than or equal to 40%. Oh, and it's got f Dragon Wall in it as well. Okay. So yeah, that seems very strong. And she's a green dragon this time. Oh no, that's going to be kind of bad for the dual crown matchup. <laughs> oh, Lance crown? <gasps> yep. Oh. Oh. That arm is shiny as hell. Ooh. Okay. Bravely Cena 2.0. Now. Okay. It is Bravely Cena 2.0. It kind of reminds me of the one his daughter Lucina carries. Hmm. Well, she did mention it. If she combat or is near an ally, his weapon, it really is. Oh my god. Five plus two times the number of bonus and penalty status effects active on Oh, but he's a lance. He's a cab lance. The infantry speed tactic skill grants speed plus six to Interesting. Plus the null follow up effect if they are infantry. Oh, you don't need to be an infantry unit to grant that. The C skill. Let's check out his changed skill. Oh, that's a new tactic. Oh, that's Tier so four cool. tactic. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely very chrome, all right. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh my god. Holy moly. So, yeah, to change fate, but it also steals all their bonuses. Huh. Very funny. Okay, that was really okay, rad. So we'll... Yeah. Of course. Excellent. <laughs> you get one for free. We're holding a free summon event. By summoning on this event, you can add one of these heroes to your barracks for free. Ooh. On top of okay. That, okay, so yeah, colorless Byleth. Green Tiki, Red Celeth, Blue Chrome. Oh, and they've brought back the Multi Spark. Yeah. And for Multi Stones, I guess. That's always good to have the Celestial Stones. Yeah. That the free summon a new future. You get some useful that stuff with them. The top heroes from Choose Your Legends Round 4 will be ending on August 30th. Remember to summon one of these Goodbye. heroes so they can join the friend. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't claimed your free hero already, what are you doing? <laughs> Gerald's on my. He's here! 
It is! Yes, she looks amazing. Oh my god. He's the black captain of the Knights of Saros. He's a lance. Gerald moved on to head a band of mercenaries yep. and he has a PRF. He has a PRF. He has a PRF. Oh, he my might actually gosh. be worth using. Oh my god, he's here. <laughs> okay, I'm psyched. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's amazing. She's she's had enough of drink. One more, one more. Keep going, Faye. <laughs> oh, there's more news. Oh, oh. there's more. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. All oh, right, this yeah. this. Times a hero can be improved will increase by five beyond the current limit. Five more dragon flowers for everyone. Ray. Dragon flowers to improve Way. beyond the current limit, and the number needed to improve after that will increase by forty each time. Oh, that reminds <laughs> me, dragon flowers. At least Binding Worlds gave out a lot of <laughs> what? Event, what? Yo. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, a thousand! That's a lot. That's substantial. That's significant. Oh my god. Bless you, Faye. Yeah. Another and, one. Yeah, I was gonna say, Binding Worlds get... <laughs> More drinks. <laughs> Another oh <my> one! I'm sure they're grateful for the support you showed with your votes. And I bet they're eager to show off their new skills and attire. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you continue to enjoy the Fire Emblem Heroes game. Now, if you'll excuse me. I hope I continue to enjoy it as well. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Faye. You're so generous, Faye. Oh my god. Yeah, giving us a free... One of these guys. Gerald is freaking yeah! Oh my I'm, God. I'm Gerald, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Okay, well, let's review Byleth. Yeah. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna go through her skills. Uh, so let's start with her weapon. Uh, do you? Who should read it first? <laughs> uh, do you want to take turns? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can go first if you want. Sure. Okay. Inner wellspring, accelerate special trigger, cooldown counts minus one. At start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants no follow-up to unit for one turn. And also, the special condition is at its maximum value, grants special cooldown count minus one. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack, speed, defense, res, plus five to unit during combat. And if, unit, if special triggers before or during <laughs> combat, grants special cooldown count minus one after combat. So, mini special spiral. Yep. And... Is it... Oh my god, this is so confusing. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's pretty simple to put together as, like, skills we already yeah. know. We've got Vanilla Follow-Up at start of turn. We've got Times Pulse built in. We've got plus five to all stats. And we've got a mini special spiral. And oh, we've got okay, slaying. Okay. Oh wow, that's strong. Okay. So yeah. like like all the biolifts, this is a unit built around spamming those specials and having null follow up. Divine pulse. It's a two cooldown special. Um, boosts damage by twenty five percent of unit's speed. Reduces damage from foes next attacked by seventy five percent. And units next attack deals damage equal twenty percent of units speed. So, b basically, that's forty five percent of unit speed is damage here, assuming you get the follow up, which you have now follow up. So you're almost guaranteed to have them. Yeah. Ooh. And you're getting that seventy five percent damage reduction as well so yeah that is legendary claude like that's 
high high damage reduction you're gonna want something like dead eye or lethality or something to go through this although it Machine. might count as special because it doesn't say doesn't count as special in the way that vital astra did is she an infantry unit um i think she is colorless tome infantry yeah oh i was gonna say if she was flying like maybe <laughs> this would be a little bit risky but yeah from what i see here this is really strong oh my god and especially since she's going to be having it at one cooldown as well. Potentially, you're using this, getting hit back, charging it again, and then your second hit is now doing that 20% from the first special, but it's also triggering the special again for just an absurd amount of special damage. Hmm... Wow. So yeah, all, all in all, very strong. Maybe a little weaker on enemy phase, because you're not getting to necessarily trigger your special before the enemy hits you. Mm, yeah, that is true. Especially because she has like that weird vantage thing. Okay. Yeah, well... although, yeah, to be fair, she does have that weird vantage thing. Yeah. Huh, how interesting. Okay, let's move to the next skill, uh, the weird vantage thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, speed preempt three. Inflicts speed minus four on foe during combat. If foe initiates combat and uses bow, dagger, magic, or staff, and unit's speed is greater than foe's speed, unit can counterattack before foe's first attack. Uh, excluding when unit's savior skill triggers. I'm sorry, um, what? I'm, I'm guessing that's a little thing they've put on there because it's an inheritable skill, right? Oh, uh, okay. So if you inherited oh. this onto a unit that had a save skill, you can't have a fast save unit who vantages everything. Boo, I yes. Boo. <laughs> you have no idea how fun that would have been for me. Boo! I hate you, IS. Damn you for releasing I, 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 I don't mind IS busted. doing this. I'm very happy with <laughs> not having to deal with the Vantage Saviors everywhere. That would bring that would bring back Hardy uh, like Hardy Hardy Bearing. Hardy Bearing. Yeah. So I don't think it would have been that busted. But yeah. maybe it is because savior skills are inherently busted and you can only run hardy bearing a one unit, so... Yeah, so but, you've, you've yeah. basically got to pick one unit for hardy bearing that can beat every savior. And that's impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they IS covered their butts. Uh, for once. They were smart. For once. For once in their lives. <laughs> I guess we might as well, like, do we have any, like, thoughts? Any closing thoughts on female Byleth? Um, I mean, all, all in all, I think she looks very strong. Um, again, I think the good comparison for her is Legendary Claude, because he has mm. null follow-up, and he has a similar scale of damage reduction on all his combats. Yeah, so, absolutely. If you put them together, and Legendary Claude is already stupidly strong. Yeah. <laughs> and this is not locked to uh, any blessing or any season. Yep. Uh, and... So we can see her everywhere. Is an infantry unit, I think. So is also going to be able to access all the fun infantry skills and all the fun infantry-specific support that infantry and a few <laughs> yeah doesn't, doesn't need it because she's got it in her weapon <laughs> but she can grant it to other people though hmm. the the c skill infantry and a few whatever it's called yeah yeah um but yeah that's interesting i really like her yeah it's definitely a new way of playing things tying all of that to the special absolutely 
Well, we might as well move to uh, legend, uh, not legendary Celif. Oopsies. Brave, uh, brave Celif. My boy, the closest thing we're getting to rep for my game and this banner. <laughs> he looks. Fire Emblem Four isn't quite Thracia, but it's close enough. Yeah. I really like his art. They really, they really went all out on his. Yeah, uh, the Sigurd outfit, the blue, the white, the gold, and all just very shiny. Love it. Oh, oh my. Okay, I didn't understand his skills, so. All I right, shall, like, shall I shall I get reading then? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he is armed with the Holy Tide tear thing, which enables Canto to accelerate special trigger, cooldown count minus one. So it's a canto and slaying weapon. If unit or foe initiates combat after moving to a different space, grants attack speed death res plus five to unit during combat and deals damage equal to number of spaces moved by whoever initiated combat, max four times 10% of foe's defense, except when dealing damage with area of effect specials. And also if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25% at start of combat, unit's HP is greater than 1, and foe's HP would reduce unit's HP to 0, the unit survives with 1 HP. Once per combat does not stack with non-special effects for allowing unit to survive with 1 HP, if foe's attack would reduce HP to 0. Oh, they brought back the miracle. Yeah, he's got the classic Selif miracle. He's got Kanto and Slaying. But then the main juice of his effect is for every square that whoever initiates combat has moved to initiate combat, he's getting 10% of foe's defense as damage. Oh my. So two squares, 20% <laughs> of foe's defense he's dealing as damage on every hit. If he's using his full ability of going four squares with his extra movement, 40% of foe's damage on every hit, or foe's defense on every hit. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is, I think he might be my favorite unit so far. Like, I, like just glim, glimpsing over all the other units, I think this is like something really unique. Uh, yeah, I'm, it's definitely really not an effect that's been in favor before. How unique! And I really like, I really like kind of a theming of it as well as a sort of cavalry charge. I guess you could <laughs> put it. Like, Genealogy, like thirty movement spaces. <laughs> yeah, you, you. The more movement you use, the harder you hit. It's like you're getting oh. a run up for your attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, okay, I'm excited for Brave Solif. Um, mm. Why don't we move on to his A-Skill? Yeah, his A-Skill. This is a really interesting inheritable as well, because it's the same sort of effect. If unit or foe initiates combat after moving to a different space, grants bonus to unit's attack and speed during combat equal to X plus 6, where X is the number of spaces moved by whoever initiated combat, max 4, and if X is greater than or equal to 2, neutralizes unit's penalties to attack and speed during combat. Oh, that's delicious. Holy moly. So, basically, if you move one space in attack, it's attack speed plus 7. If you move two spaces in attack, attack speed plus 8. If you move three spaces in attack, attack speed plus nine, and four spaces, which Selif can do, makes it attack speed plus ten. Oh. And this also applies on enemy phase based on how far the opponent he's enemy phasing against has moved, too. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> his PRF C slot, air to light, at start of turn. If unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus six and null follow up to unit for one turn, 
and unit can move one extra space. That turn only does not stack. I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. <laughs> oh Attack my God. speed plus six, null follow up, four movement. What more do you want? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, it does. Like, what do I say? <laughs> That's so strong. Yeah, he just he just runs up and hits you. Oh my god. Can you imagine the gale force utility oh. here? Cuz this 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 Selif isn't slow. He's yeah, fast. He's, he's fast. He's got a miracle. He's gonna be a gale forcer. <laughs> and he's got no follow up. He's gonna be a cracked gale forcer. And he's oh got God. slaying and canto. Oh God. <laughs> so ARD is so screwed. <laughs> yeah, he can run all the way up to your team with his slaying and no follow up attack. He can make sure to hit you twice. And he's got the four cooldown gale force with his miracle. Even if you get hit back, he can survive on one hit point, which allows for all sorts of warm shenanigans. And then he's got his Kanto 2 to put him wherever he wants to be afterwards. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. That is oh. one cool Seleph. I think all near savers just instantly lose to him. Like... Even if he doesn't, like, okay, even if he doesn't kill the far sa uh, the near saver, sorry. If he initiates combat on a near savior, and he doesn't die, like, he doesn't kill, no one dies, he gets this miracle off, people can just wham in afterwards. Yep. Oh my god. He doesn't well, yeah, even need a kill. Even And yeah. if he does, like, it's, like, very high chance that he's gonna do it. Yeah, because again, oh if god. he's hitting you twice... And he's getting his full four spaces of movement. That's eighty percent of your defense. The goodbye <laughs> <laughs> is getting dealt across those two hits. Holy moly! <laughs> Ard is screwed. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, we'll wow, that's we'll strong. have to find a solution to that. <laughs> We need a uh, inheritable anti miracle effect. Um, sorry, <laughs> IS, you're releasing too many miracle effects. Um. <laughs> on the other hand, this is a unit you can run on a cav line. Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move to uh, Brave Tiki. Tiki, yes. Huh, okay, well, uh, remote breath uh, effective against all dragons. Um, yep. Accelerates special trigger cooldown counts minus one. Effective against dragon foes. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants attack, speed, defense, res plus five to unit during combat. Unit makes a guaranteed follow up attack, and also, if unit's attack can trigger their special, grants special cooldown count minus one to unit before unit's first attack during combat. And if foe's attack can trigger their special, and unit's res is greater than or equal to foe's res plus 5, inflicts special cooldown count plus 1 on foe before their foe's first attack during combat. Cannot exceed the foe's maximum special cooldown. If foe's range equals 2, calculates damage using the lower of foe's defense or res. Oh my god! So, yeah, what we're seeing here... I remember you talking earlier about the duo Chrom matchup, right? Yeah. If duo Chrom comes in with a pre-charged dead eye, Does it Tiki matter? pops it back up to one <laughs> cooldown. Oh my god! How do you deal with this thing? Oh my god! Oh yeah. My holy moly. She, she gets to pre-charge her own special and un-pre-charge yours. So you'd better have a way so, of charging it in combat. How does this interact with tempo? Because doesn't tempo... Wouldn't tempo, like, just completely shut this down? 
Maybe um, I'm just delusional. I'll check for the actual wording of tempo skills. Give me a moment. I think it's during combat. I think that's like the main thing of the tempo skills, if I'm not mistaken. Tempo. Yeah, let's check. N neutralize effects that grant special cooldown charge plus X to foe or inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Hmm. It seems like it might not be affected by tempo because it's not special cooldown charge, it's special cooldown count. But I'm not sure. Oh god, how annoying. I hope tempo shuts this down. Mm. Like, I literally, I cannot see... Maybe, okay, maybe Tiki is very slow. I think maybe that's the thing here. Because she does get a guaranteed follow-up attack. So maybe if she gets doubled, it wouldn't matter. You just have to yeah. survive a hit from Tiki. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> okay, it's a little bit more balanced. But still, Jesus. That's a very strong weapon okay well i'll move on to her a skill um <clears throat> attack res finish four if unit is within three spaces of an ally grants attack res plus seven to unit during combat and also if unit special is ready or unit special triggered before or during this combat deals plus five damage during combat except when dealing damage with area effect specials and when unit deals damage to foe during combat, restore 7 HP to unit. Triggers even if 0 damage is dealt. So you're getting plus 7 HP every hit. Yep. Uh, oh boy. And plus 5 damage every hit. Oh. And the only requirement is either come into combat with your special charged, or it'll kick in after your special goes off. Oh my god, yeah. She's so, a total like anti meta unit. Yeah, so even even if like you're coming in with your special uncharged, if you hit once, charge your special, hit again, maybe hit a few more times for good measure, because I don't know. Uh, all those hits once your special is triggered are still going to benefit from this. Even if you didn't meet the condition going in. That's such a cool skill. I really like that. Yeah. Oh, I... Also, the if unit special triggered before combat means for unlike a lot of the skills which synergize with specials, this one can actually be run with AoE specials. If oh, you yeah, want. True. Oh. Hmm. How I mean, those might not be the best on Tiki specifically, but this is an inheritable skill, so... I'm gonna assume it's infantry and cavalry? Could be. It's hard to guess, honestly. Huh. Well, how interesting. I think they mm. wouldn't give it to armor units. But if they do, I'll, I'll be very happy to have this as fodder. Mm-hmm. Oh, huh, how interesting. Okay, well, Tiki has my attention. Um, Definitely. Very anti-meta unit. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let me read the, the B skill. Uh, new Divinity. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater uh, than 25%, oh, greater than or equal to 25%, yep. inflicts attack, res minus 5 on foe during combat. And also, if unit's res is greater than foe's res, Reduces damage from attacks during combat and from area of effect specials, excluding Rooker area of effect specials, by percentage equivalent to difference between stats times 4. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 40%, foe cannot make a follow up attack during combat. Yeah. Wow. So another dragon coming in with their own personal dragon wall. Because <laughs> Medeus had one, Fallen Rhea had one, and now Tiki has one. 
I swear, all of them have, like, they all have Dragon Wall plus something else. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, well, if you think about it, this Tiki gets essentially a null follow-up against slower units. Hmm. Or units that are slower than her, right? Because she gets her guaranteed follow-up attack, and then she gets wary. If she beats slower units in a speed check, she basically gets a free NFU. Yeah, and I mean, even against faster units, she's doubling and preventing them from doubling. It's a full follow-up control. The only thing that's breaking this is either having follow-up control no of follow your up. own or <laughs> no follow-up. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Which oh, does wow. leave the question open of exactly how slow is she? I'm assuming she's slow. She seems too stacked right now. I don't. I. Hmm. I'm scared if they decide to make her super speedy. I think what might be happening here is that she's gonna take like the ascended Idun route, where she has workable speed and you can speed stack her, but it's often not worth it. Yeah, because she does still get five speed from her weapon. Yeah. Well, time will tell, hmm. but yeah, Adult Tiki's very anti-meta unit. She has a lot going for her. Yep. And good at fighting other dragons as well. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, last but not least. Definitely I guess not we least. Might as well go to Crom. <laughs> Yeah, Chrome, oh, who's going the brave Lucina route. Oh, he looks so good. Yeah. He's great Lord class. Yep. He's got the spear, he's got the fire emblem. Oh, how amazing. And okay. he's got a horse. Okay, why don't you read it? <laughs> don't you yep, read he has so excited. the Gedrifle is my best attempt at this. Kind of a mirror to Brave Lucina's Gerskogul. No one knows how to pronounce it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. Effective against armored foes. Very handy. If you initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed defense res plus X to unit during combat where X is the number of bonus and penalty units effects active on unit times 2 plus 5, excluding stat bonuses and stat penalties, reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 40%, and also, if bonus is active on unit, grants special cooldown charge plus 1 per attack during combat. Only highest value applied does not stack. So this is wow. a very <laughs> intriguing prospect right here. Because every single just like effect that you can stack on this guy is giving him an extra plus one to all stats. Or extra plus two to all stats. Because it's multiplied by two. Okay. Oh my god. And yeah, like this is this is made for summoner duels. Yeah, made 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 for a, a lot of modes, honestly, I think. I mean like with the duo skill, like like think of um think of all like the, the duo skills, like you just yeah. get like if, the if you, bonus. <laughs> yeah, give him dominance, that's plus two to all stats. Give him bonus doubler, that's plus two to all stats. Give him And a few. Yep, yeah, plus two to all stats. And it applies to penalties as well, so if he's getting hit with um, exposure, if he's getting hit with um, guard, for instance, from an opposing ruse or something, if he's getting hit with stall, each of those is also giving him plus two to all stats. Oh, how fascinating. Holy... And so... There's definitely this really interesting game to play with him where you've got to ask yourself how many of these effects 
like how many of these different just types of effect can I stack on this guy to make his stats go just stupidly high? And <laughs> to top it all off, he has special ramping and effective against armor. <laughs> special ramping, effective against armor, and 40% damage reduction from the foe's first attack. Can't forget the slaying. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Never forget the slaying. So this is, again, I think, just an all-around very good unit. Brave Erica who? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, on the one hand, he doesn't have Brave Erica's ability to put out a ridiculous special. On the other hand, he definitely does have Brave Erica's ability to just shred armors. And he, he's got just stats. He's got potentially so much stats. Because there's no cap to that. Or I guess, well, you're capped by the number of bonuses and penalties that are in the game. We'll only get more as time goes on. Like, honestly... Yeah, they this, keep getting at it. This is timeless. This is really good. Yeah, this is a this is a forever unit right here. I think the one thing they could have added to make her make him even more busted would be, like, a tempo. Like, the enemy can't charge their... <laughs> can't <laughs> accelerate their special, but... But, he well, doesn't he, need it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need it. Should we go on to his C slot as well? Absolutely. Okay. Because <clears throat> this, this all synergizes quite nicely together. He yeah. has infantry speed tactic. At start of turn, grants speed plus six to allies within two spaces for one turn, and null follow-up to infantry allies within two spaces, granted only... If number of vet allies movement t type on current team is less than or equal to two. So it's the same condition as tactic. But. On top of the tactic effect. Infantry allies get no follow up. Neat. It's neat. And you may I'm be looking I'm kind of disappointed at... it's locked to infantry. Yeah, oh well... Yeah. But on the other hand, it does synergize in a really fun way with the last part of his kit. Does he himself get the no follow? Sh shall, shall I read his replacement for to change fate? Because... Oh, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, okay, please do. I just yes. realized. <laughs> a fate changed. Moves target ally to opposite side of unit and grants another action to unit. That's the same as to change fate. Grants any bonus active on target ally to unit and pair up cohort, if any, for one turn. And inflicts isolation on unit and pair up cohort, if any, through their next action. Additional action granted in isolation inflicted once per turn only. Granted bonuses exclude stat bonuses inverted by panic. So Sobbing. If, if Crying. He, <laughs> if he grants null follow-up to a unit and then repositions that unit, he now has null follow-up. This opens so many doors. Holy... Oh my god. So, yeah, any unit you've got that can buff themselves with a ridiculous number of bonuses can now be used as a support for Brave Crom because he can just steal their bonuses. Oh my god. He can just friggin' wow. to change fate them and go yoink, those are mine now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and you want you want to know the other very funny thing? What is that? It inflicts isolation on him. That's plus two to all stats. Oh my god, because it's a penalty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The, the oh. first time that that specific part of the effect has ever been an upside. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be like charging at you with 
up to like I, like i would say normally he would like have plus 20 to all stats no i mean depending on what you can hit him with you could do that easily yeah I think it's like it's very easy to get like plus twenty to all stats. I would say like that's a pretty reasonable amount. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! <laughs> it, this guy is gonna be so fun. Okay. Because because <laughs> yeah, there's the team building challenge of well, how many of these different effects can I stack on one team and then you get to cash all of those effects in for just massive stats wow okay Krom it, wasn't it not enough that you changed the meta with the Valentine's Krom was it not enough you just you just changed everything. Changed fate, <laughs> even. <laughs> he changed fate. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ever, this ever batch since was amazing. Yeah. Ever since they invented legendary Chrom, Chrom has been just winning with every single alt. Wow. Yeah, they did really good here. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have like any specific like? idea on who you want to free pull oh i i have no idea because all of these all of these are just such interesting units huh i think i'm most sold on either female byleth or brave crumb hmm I think, like, for my barracks, they would do me the best, but I'm leaning more on female Byleth. I mm. like the, I, like, her whole, like, niche thing going on with the 75% DR. Yeah, she I... She can just, like, destroy anything. Yeah, female Byleth definitely seems like the obvious choice for me as well, given the whole I play A for Age defense thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just thinking about that. Oh, my God. <laughs> she She's... Uh, Seems like a very solid and easy fit into whatever A for Aids defense team I'm running. But at the same time, the other three units all have their weird and fun and unique things going on. Like, you kind of want all of them. <laughs> Female Byleth and a catcher and ball. Yeah. Need I say more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah, but I I think my free pull will be for legend uh, female Byleth. Uh, how do we? Yeah, closing thoughts. What do we think? <laughs> I think personally, that these are really fun looking units. They do look like fun. Like re regardless of how strong they are, which I mean, I think they're very strong. The thing I like most about them is for every single one of them is bringing something completely new to the table. Like, none of these yeah, are playing absolutely. in a way that is like any other unit in the game. It's not just like we've stacked strong effects on them, it's we've stacked new effects on them. Because mm -hmm. we've got Byleth's whole thing with whatever's going on with her special. We've got Tiki messing around with your like, special cooldown right before combat, charging herself, discharging you. We've got, um, Selif, who is wanting to run four spaces across the map just to charge up for his full power. And we've got Krom, who wants to stack as many different effects on himself as possible <laughs> for just massive stats. All of those. Excellent batch. All of those are completely new. <laughs> yeah. This is an excellent batch of CYL units. Hmm. I'm very happy for all like the uh, the people that are fans of this these characters. I think they've been served very well. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I think. Yeah. That's all I really had to say. This is amazing. Yeah, I've, I've, I think I've just about run out of intelligent things to say. It's, it's too late. <laughs> yep. Sure is. <laughs> okay. Well, um, thanks for joining me, Penrust. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, if you're not subscribed to uh, Penrust's channel, you should uh, go check their channel out and yep. subscribe. That's Don't true. Be dumb. That should be done. <laughs> yes. That should be done. That is a thing that you should do. And if you're um, not subscribed to Krem, how did you get here? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Not many people are subscribed. It's okay. To be fair, well, f yeah, fix that. If you're watching this right yeah, now, fix, fix that. Make that number I... go up. Yes, please subscribe to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I think with that being said, uh, I am going to go edit this video. <laughs> yep, yeah, I am going to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.